Hello and welcome to this time of training for Africa University speakers. My name is Bob Kovic Campbell and I serve as Program Director of the African University Scholarship Initiative for the Upper New York Conference. We're so happy that you would agree to watch this online presentation so that you can get a sense of excitement about what it is that we would ask you to do as a speaker for Africa University in the Upper New York Conference. I am taping this event at the conference office in Syracuse on June 7th. We want to thank you for just being part and taking the time to watch this presentation. We want to thank you for your faithful support of Africa University and we hope that you've had a chance not only to make a prayerful commitment but a financial commitment to the one million dollar initiative to raise scholarships for students at Africa University. And we want to thank you for opening yourself to the possibility of becoming a speaker at Africa University. This presentation is in two parts. This first part is to share a little bit about what it means to be a speaker. In the second part, I'll be sharing with you a very, very basic speaker's presentation that I'm happy to share with you as a PowerPoint that you can then share. If you share nothing but what's in the presentation I'll share with you in a few moments, the speaker's presentation, you'll cover everything that you need to. But we very mu much want you to make this presentation your own. So I would really ask you to do that. The task is that we need speakers. We need speakers throughout our conference in every district to go out and to share the good news about Africa University and how all of us can be a part of the mission and ministry that's happening there. We need people who can speak well of Africa University and support the scholarship fund. People who can speak enthusiastically who aren't too shy about sharing how good they feel about this project, and who are willing to do this in their own local church, in other local churches around the district, and perhaps throughout the conference. We look forward to having a great celebration in 2014 when we accomplish our goal of raising scholarships for Africa University. The task is that the scholarship endowment fund seeks to do some specific things. Two, in fact. The first is to educate persons, not only about Africa University, but about Africa itself, the different countries and the continent, and all the other things that go along with being a United Methodist University that welcomes persons from every country on the continent of Africa. The second is to encourage people to give. We're not going to be shy about this. We want to raise $1 million for scholarships for Africa University. And we believe educating people as to what Africa University is all about is the best way to go about this. The task of the speaker, very simply, is to support these two goals. So if you're willing to share some information and you're not too shy about just asking people naturally to give to something that you feel strongly about, you're the perfect person for this job. The rationale behind what we're trying to do is to educate people because many United Methodists in our conference don't know about Africa University. This will give them an opportunity to become acquainted with it through you as a speaker. The second thing is in having someone that they know to speak in support. You know, we can put up hundreds of flyers and, and send out posters, and we hope you might even get a poster about Africa University to post in your church. But it's just not the same thing as having someone flesh and blood speak to you about the power of what this university means as a mission project to our denomination, to our church, and to our conference here in Upper New York. We believe that you can do this, and you can do it effectively and powerfully, and that through your efforts, we can come closer to achieving our goal, which is one million dollars for scholarships for Africa University. Now, what would you be asked to share? 
We're not asking you to go out and write any type of thesis about Africa University. We just want you to share some basic facts about Africa, about the country of Zimbabwe, where Africa University is located, and then some basic things about Africa University, how its student body is made up, how, uh, where it is, and, and, and how it functions. So, to share a map of Africa, to share about Zimbabwe, and then to share a little bit about the history. How was this relatively new mission project for the United Methodist Church begun? It, it was formed back in 1988, and you'll be hearing about that in just a moment. And finally, to share some facts about Africa University. How is the student body made up? What can one study there? And how can we become part of realizing the reality to share the dream of Africa University? The speaker would be asked to give a presentation that again I'll be giving in just a few moments and I really encourage you to take, if you like the slides that I'm going to present tonight, to take them and use them to put together your own presentation in your own words that this is really what's important, that it should be something that fits what you want to say. You may be called upon by churches in your area, your district superintendent, the conference office, maybe even an outside group that you want to go speak to about Africa University. All of these become possibilities for you to share the message of Africa University. And I truly hope that you have the option to do this throughout the duration of our campaign, which will go, as I said, till annual conference 2014. You should contact the person, particularly the pastor, at the church where you are speaking. We would ask that the pastor be present at every Africa University presentation. So they should be present as you're making your presentation. They might learn a few things too. While enthusiastically supporting Africa University, we don't expect you to be an expert on Africa University. If you need the answer to a question, please write it down and get the person's name, phone number, and email. And we'll be sure that they get an answer if you get that question to the conference office. We'll be sure that an answer is supplied in a timely fashion. Now, when we come to giving, people can sometimes get a little bit shy. We're not asking you to beg, to plead, to cajole people into giving. We're simply asking you to give them the facts about Africa University, to tell them what we're trying to do, and then simply to ask them to give. There's all kinds of ways they can give. We want everyone to feel like they can be a part of the Africa University Scholarship Endowment Fund. It doesn't matter how much their gift is. That's really not what's important. What's important is that their part, they participate in this effort. You can make a gift online, www.unyumc.org, as a means to make an online gift. Or you can give through your local church. Just write a check and note down in the corner, AU Scholarship Fund. You can also take an envelope, write Africa University on it, and put some cash in there. We'd be happy for that as well. In whatever way, we hope that you would encourage gifts in your presentation. And don't just think about adults. Remember that children who are the present of our church very much might want to be a part of this wonderful campaign and we encourage them to give as well. Be sure that whenever you speak about Africa University, you receive a free will offering. Whenever you speak, Encourage gifts, but then don't be afraid to pass a bowl or a plate for Africa University. Because those gifts, as with all the others, will go together to make up this $1 million scholarship endowment that will go on to fund eight scholarships in perpetuity. Always remember to close your presentations with prayer. And at the end of the presentation that I will make, I'll have a suggested prayer. If you're a little shy about praying in public, have everyone say the prayer together. That's what we're going to do here tonight. And I hope that you would see to do that. 
But the main thing about this is to have fun with it, to be excited about it. This is a great time in the life of our church, and we hope that you will want to give yourself to becoming a speaker for Africa University for this scholarship initiative. So we're going to take a break right now, and I'll be back in just a minute to share with you how you might give a presentation and what that presentation would look like for Africa University. Thanks.